Welcome to my YouTube channel. The primary purpose of this vlog is to inform, educate and entertain viewers and subscribers. Please watch the entire vlog and remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. Today's topic reads. Stephen T. Witch Boss Suicide Note Alluding to Past Challenges Stephen T. Witch Boss shared an uplifting message about overcoming hardships five years before he tragically died by suicide. It's a constant work in progress, the former Ellen Show DJ said in an episode of the Aubrey Marcus podcast in 2017. Stephen Twitch Boss says, You will make decisions that might seem right at the time but then they're not. For me, it just helps to know that it keeps going, it does, no matter what, even if something seems very devastating like there's some kind of force that's going to keep going and it's there for you. Boss added that he would sometimes reflect and ask himself, wait a minute, but what was this back here that just happened to me? and would then make a choice to stay there and jump back into the program of everyday life. The So You Think You Can Dance Alum did not go into detail about the difficulties he was dealing with, but shared how fatherhood added another level of pressure. Stephen T. Which boss wants of overcoming hard times, it just helps to know that it keeps going. I'm 35 years old, I am a father of two, I'm a husband, so it's just like I have so many lives other than my own that I have to take account for in my choices, my actions, and all of that, he said at the time. Sometimes, I'm faced to make a choice that is the best possible choice I can make at that given moment. Now, will it be the perfect choice? No. Will it cause me to fall? Maybe, and if so, you've got to get back up really, really quick and pick up the lesson of whatever that is and then keep it moving because that's kind of what life does. Boss married wife Allison Holker in 2013. At the time of the podcast interview, the couple shared daughter Wesley, now 14, and son Maddox, now 6. They later welcomed another daughter, Zaya, now three. Boss was a proud family man, who often posted fun videos with his wife and kids on social media. The pro dancer also told host Aubrey Marcus in the interview that he had fallen in love with the idea that the bounce back doesn't have to be romantic. Your bounce back from a perceived failure or whatever something that didn't work out for you, your bounce back immediately doesn't have to be like this Hollywood story, Boss said. It doesn't have to be, like, Something that you tell your friends that at the end of it your friends are going to go, wow, because that's another little ego trick I just recently found. Boss rose to fame as the DJ on the Ellen DeGeneres show following a successful stint on So You Think You Can Dance. Like you're writing the intro to a book, Marcus then responded, to which Boss eerily replied with a laugh, I had the gun in my hand, and meanwhile, it's like some trivial ST. I was looking at myself when I've talked about this, this is something I've for sure done. The real dirty dancing host continued, it's super romantic. It was hard, but I found my way out. I feel like because that's kind of a natural cycle of life, then if you just trust the process and kind of allow it, then those highlight reels will come. Boss also spoke about how his art helped him deal with stressors, noting, when you feel good, you dance. No matter what, life is going to move forward, he added. When you feel good, you dance, Boss said. Boss was found dead in a Los Angeles hotel room on December 13 self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to TMZ. He was just 40-year-old. Holker released a statement on her husband's passing on Wednesday, saying in part, Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends and community above all else and leading with love and light was everything to him. The Dancing with the Stars alum, 34, added, Stephen, we love you, we miss you, and I will always save the last dance for you. Boss and Holker were married for nine years and recently celebrated their wedding anniversary. Ellen DeGeneres, who worked closely with Boss from 2014 to 2022 on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, said she was heartbroken over his death. The talk show host, 64, wrote on social media, T which was pure love and light. He was my family, and I loved him with all my heart. I will miss him. If you or someone you know is affected by any of the issues raised in this story, Call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988. Allison Holker posted an emotional tribute to her late husband, Stephen T. Witch Boss, on Friday, just three weeks after the dancer died by suicide. To my husband, best friend, babe, Chi Chalker, Superman and father of my children I love you forever and always. Holker wrote on Instagram alongside a video montage set to Rihanna's Lift Me Up. We will forever remember you as the true beacon of light that you were and we will continue to cast your light and love throughout the world, she continued. Thank you for our incredible memories and our beautiful life shared together. The video featured photos of the former Ellen DJ with his wife and their three children, Wesley, 14, 
Maddox, 6, and Zaya, 3. The snap span from the beginning of Holker and Boss's relationship in 2012 to pictures taken just before the DJ died. Her tribute comes just two days after Boss's family held a private funeral for the dancer. Sources told TMZ that the dancer was laid to rest Wednesday surrounded by his closest relatives. Another service will be held in the coming weeks to include his closest friends and extended family. This is the second time Holker has spoken out on social media since the professional dancer, whom she wed in 2013, took his life via a gunshot wound to the head. Nearly one week after her husband's passing, the So You Think You Can Dance alum said her heart aches from the pain. My one and only oh how my heart aches. We miss you so much, she captioned a selfie of the pair. I love you forever and always. Holker wrote. Dozens of other celebrities and some of Boss's closest friends, including Ellen DeGeneres also turned to social media to share their sadness. Last week, the former talk show host posted an emotional video to Instagram, saying she will never make sense of Boss's death. But I think the best thing we can do to honor T which is to laugh, and hug each other and to play games and dance and sing. That's the way we honor him, we do the things he loved to do. Boss was found dead in a Los Angeles motel room near his home in California at the age of 40. Authorities also found a suicide note which alluded to previous struggles but its exact contents have not been released. If you or someone you know is affected by any of the issues raised in this story, call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988. Thanks to, Eileen Reslin and Nikki Cox. Shalom. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. May the divine grace of Almighty God be upon you and your family. Remember, to love your neighbor as you would love yourself. It is a divine requirement attainable through kindness. Spread the love.